If you're a pedal nerd like me, you already know about the Klon Centaur. You probably know that Bill Finnegan designed it in the early 90s to give him the sound and a touch response of his favorite tube amp cranked to that sweet spot, but without the high volume. You've seen the countless Klon clones on the market today, and you probably have seen endless online gear form debates about what it was exactly that gave the circuit its magical tone. I'll leave those debates for others to figure out. I'm really excited to share my new take on this type of circuit with you, though, and introduce to you something that captures its classic sound in the most authentic way, our new limited edition Germanium Tumnus Overdrive. But to understand the Germanium Tumnus, we need to talk a bit about Klon history. So when Bill designed the original Klon, the Tube Screamer and just a handful of other drive circuits were the only thing available at that time, really. But for Bill, they just added too much of their own flavor. He needed an overdrive that could gently push his amp to its best, making the good tones even better. So, he built it himself, naming it the Klon Centaur. Today, if you're looking at original Centaurs, you're talking thousands of dollars when buying used. They're a go-to for tons of musicians who love the extra punch and the fullness that it brings to the guitar tone. The overdrive tones on this pedal are legendary as well. It's fantastic for getting that edge of breakup tone, and it only gets thicker, chewier, and more musical the harder you push it.
There are a lot of opinions about what gives the Klon circuitry the sound, but one of the most essential ingredients has to be the specific germanium diodes inside of it, which basically has a particular forward voltage, kind of like a clipping threshold, basically meaning there's a certain set of characteristics in these type of diodes that really influence the tone and the response of the pedal's compression and the clipping, or kind of what most of us call gain. Unfortunately, these diodes really are no longer in production, so this kind of adds to the pedal's unobtainium factor. But plenty of clones try to really capture the clone's magic, including our original Tumnus, and they generally do a great job of it. But finding the exact germanium diodes is basically like searching for the Holy Grail, or a unicorn, or the fountain of youth, or really a centaur. So like the original Tumnus, many clones swap the original diodes for other types, which can sound terrific, but do add their own unique flavor to the mix. But let's pause for a moment to talk about the original Tumnus. It's not an exact one-to-one -one replica of the Klon. Though it is very, very, very close to that, it's kind of by design I didn't do it that way. I generally prefer to add sort of a personal touch rather than just like replicating the pedal exactly. So when I developed the original Tumnus, it was really sort of a process of exploring various Klon circuits, experimenting with the tweaks and adjustments, and really just trying to capture the exact tone, the exact response of the Klon circuit. But I needed to adapt it just slightly for the different diodes we were using. So I spent a lot of time just getting to know the legendary circuit inside and out, including the clones, uh, really learning from each, refining the sound as close to the original as possible. So really, ultimately, it's a tribute to the Klon legacy, yet it has a bit of its own identity, but it's really made a name for itself as a cherished pedal all on its own. But what if I told you we found a stash of electronically identical germanium diodes to the, to the originals? Well, we did, and we bought every single one. So those diodes are now the heart and soul of the new limited germanium tumnus. So let's take a closer look at the germanium tumnus understand a little bit better about what sets it apart and hear a little more of what it can do. Thank you. 
Plenty of Klon style overdrive pedals out there today, and many of them sound really good. Of course, I don't want to forget about our original Temnus, because it sort of takes its own path and it's found itself as a favorite among guitarists everywhere. So it's not going anywhere. But the Germanium Temnus does take things one step closer to capturing that original Klon thing. So as you just heard, these rare Germanium diodes really do sort of add like this missing ingredient from so many other clones out there on the market. 
Are these germanium diodes better than the original Tumnus diodes? Well, that's kind of like asking if pepperoni is better than pineapple on a pizza. I can tell you. The original diodes in this gold one, though, they do sound great. The nice and crunchy, the minimum compression, but the germanium diodes are different as well. So they're a bit more compressed. They have a different clipping structure and just overall a different gain structure. But like I said, I bought every one of these germanium diodes that were available to us. So that means that this is a very, very, very limited edition pedal. Once these diodes are gone, unfortunately, we'll have to discontinue this version. So if you want absolute authentic Klon style tone on your pedal board without, you know, remortgaging your house to afford it, you'll want to act fast. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with a new video.